Confirmation today that Australia's next generation of submarines will be built in partnership with Japan, Germany or France. And while the federal government trumpeted its announcement as good news for South Australia, critics claim it was the death knell for local construction and thousands of jobs. The Prime Minister was in Adelaide today and his visit took on a nautical theme. I'm here in South Australia for a good news story. While what critics say is bad news for South Australia was delivered by his Defence Minister in Melbourne. Flanked by Defence personnel, Kevin Andrews declared the next submarine building contract will be an international partnership. Those options uh, could include build overseas, build in Australia or a hybrid of both of those things. Three countries are in the mix, France, Germany or the option initially preferred by the government, Japan. This is because each of those countries have a current design and production capacity. And while the minister was suggesting hundreds of jobs would be created locally... This is particularly good news for South Australia. He offered no guarantee the next generation of subs will actually be built here, and that means many more jobs are at risk. A point not lost on the Premier as he addressed a defence industry launch today. This is the clearest evidence yet that uh, the federal Liberal government is making preparations to break the promise that they made to the people of this nation. The federal government says it will now invite French, German and Japanese sub builders to take part in its competitive evaluation process, which will take about 10 months. One proposition that's firmly off the table is involving Swedish manufacturer Saab. It is one of the most complex and sophisticated design and manufacturing operations imaginable. Apparently too sophisticated for Australia to have an ambition to actually be part of it. Eddie Godfrey, Nine News.